Hi guys, we're back, and in this episode we're going to venture farther down into this ravine. Uh, we've gotten some more ladders, we got a brand new stone pickaxe, and we've got some food. We're kind of low on wood, I used most of it to make these ladders, uh, and that might end up being a problem, but we're going to go ahead and venture down here anyways and see exactly what we can find. And I think the way we're going to do that, now we could try to go over one of these edges, we could use sand or gravel to kind of, you know, throw it over the ledge and then dig ourselves straight down real quick. Or we could even use what's called a uh, water elevator where we dump a bucket of water. And I'll actually demonstrate this real quickly. Um, you dump a bucket of water on the edge here, for example, right here and then we could take that water down uh, safely. But I actually don't like doing that. Um, it's just a personal preference. So I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna actually dig through the walls a little bit, uh, kind of the same way we did to get down to this level. And there's plenty of gravel here. We could do the gravel elevator as well, but we're not gonna do that either. It's, like I said, just a personal preference. Uh, if you guys are playing along on this map, you can get down there however you feel like it. But I'm going to go ahead and pick an area like this and just kind of ladder down here. Now, there can definitely be some dangerous enemies down here, so that's why we're going to be a little bit cautious. I don't want to get shot off by a skeleton, especially without us having a way back up. But now we're down here, so let's go ahead and throw down some torches. And before we look behind us, let's find out what we got. And so we know there's definitely some bad guys down here. So let's take care of him real quick. We can hear some spiders and possibly some skeletons up there too. So let's get this let's get this ladder built real quickly so that we have a way back up just in case things don't go as planned. But it looks like for the moment anyways, we're relatively safe in our little hole here. So let's go exploring a little bit more. And basically the way I want to do this is I'm just going to try to clear one way at a time. And it looks like that side opens up into an even bigger ravine. So let's go back and clear this way before we head down there. Pick up that zombie flesh. And let's check and see what level we're at too. We're currently at Y28, so we are getting pretty close to that uh, Y14 level that we want to be at. There's a nice little skeleton hiding in there for us. Take care of him. We'll go down this way and make sure there's... Oh, there's a creeper. And... Hey there, Mr. Creeper. There we go. You're done. And we'll keep heading this way. Just because we don't want any of these guys sneaking up behind us. That's why we're we're trying to get as much of this area lit up as possible. And it looks like that's just going to head back up towards the surface. So let's just go ahead and do one of these numbers and block that off. And grab some more of this gravel. So we never know when we're going to need it. And it's also a good opportunity to get some flint for our bow. And I wish I had a shovel down here, but I don't kind of broke. So, I'm going to be doing this one without the shovel. Let's check down here. It looks like we got another water source somewhere. So we'll go and try to find that. And yeah, we don't need a torch there. Then we'll grab some of this iron and other resources on our way back. It looks like that water source is right there. So let's try to plug it up. There we go. So we've already got a water bucket, so we don't need to worry about... I mean, we, we can basically put water wherever we need it. 
And there's a spider. Take care of him real quick. And let's check and see what's over down this way. We've got another water source. Yeah, it's our strings floating away. And there's some lava down this way, so let's go explore that as well. And we'll keep putting torches out. Now what we're gonna do here since it kind of tees. We want to put two torches there so we know that's the way back up. And we've got lava and water here. So we might go exploring that way. And uh, let's check down this way because it looks like there's some emeralds over here. And let's see what level we're at now. Y23. So we're definitely getting pretty close. And for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave all these resources here. And we'll come back and grab them in a bit. And there's a nice little hole in the ground there. Don't want to get pushed down in there. There's some emeralds above us. And let's check over this way. So now going caving like this and exploring ravines. I mean, technically right now, I mean we're we're not inside the ravine anymore. We're inside a cave that's split off from the ravine. But it takes a lot of torches. As you can see, we've gone through almost a full stack. Um, We've only got 31 left so yeah technically we went through a full stack from when we started coming in here so it'll take a lot of torches to do this so make sure you're well prepared when you go down in these caves and let's grab this iron real quick just because that seemed like that was all that was really down in this section there's some more coal but we have plenty of coal right now check and see what's up this way. You also want to bring a lot of food with you if you plan on being down here for any extended period of time. That's not where we want to be because they're going to get pushed into us by the water. So we'll back up a little bit. And that's good because he took out that little baby zombie too. But he also took out our torch. So, And there's another baby zombie. What the... Okay. I think he fell in that hole and that actually hurt him. But, alright, let's go ahead over here and let's eat something. And we don't need water on our bar right now, so let's go ahead and eat this chicken. And as you can see, killing that baby zombie kind of triggered the zombie apocalypse. So, any of the zombies within range are now after us. Which, I mean, that's not a terrible thing. Things could be much worse, but... Yeah, let's see what we got over here. This is just that section right above there. So these guys are going to pathfind around to where we are. So they should be right about there. Yep. There should be one more. Yep, there he is. And let's go try to seal off this... Oh, we got a creeper. I don't think he was that close, but apparently he was. And it doesn't seem like there's too much over that way, so I'm not going to worry about going up there anymore. Uh, it is kind of a pain, though. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just head back this way. So we know there's stuff below us at this level. And let's throw up a couple more torches because it's kind of dark over here. So there's water. Block it off. And this is where we really want to start you know, following our guidelines of putting the torches on the right because there are a lot of different paths down at this point. And as you can see, we're running into some redstone. 
and there's some obsidian down there so we really want to get some diamonds so that we can mine uh, the obsidian because we need that to go into the nether and to do some of the other uh, projects like an enchanting table so really need is we're looking for diamonds and so we're looking for iron too because we don't really have a very good set of armor right now we've only got an iron chest plate and everything else is leather or stuff that we found off mob drops which is pretty badly damaged so we're gonna head down this way and make ourselves a nice way back up mark it, mark it with some torches here that way we remember that's the way and we'll try to light that up a little bit so now we're pretty deep. We're at y equals 12. So we're actually on the right level to find some diamonds and other nice things. There's some emeralds. And we found a couple of those already. And like I said, we'll just go back and pick those up at a later time. So I'm not really too worried about them. And for this, we'll just block off that lava flow. Now if we get rid of all the lava then the natural light that it's providing will also go away so that's why I'm kinda leaving it there and there's some redstone and some gold and we can hear someone a zombie of some sort is getting hurt he probably fell in the, the lava if I had to guess so we're back at where we started here. It looks like that's just a big uh, circle, actually. So let's go this way. And it doesn't look like there's too much over here either. Now this might be a good place to do some branch mining. And as you can see, there's a lot of other resources over here that I'm going to have to kind of grab. But I'm not going to do that on camera. I think the point of this was just to, to show you guys exactly the kind of fun that you can have in a ravine um, and that it, it leads to other adventures okay, and we'll grab some of this redstone too Oop, careful there's lava right there but yeah ravines often lead to cave structures sometimes they'll actually lead to abandoned mine shafts and things of that nature and careful we don't want to get pushed into the lava but yeah so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna go ahead and gather a lot of this stuff off camera and then I'll meet you guys back at the house where we'll kinda get re-equipped uh, to go diamond hunting and if I find diamonds while I'm gathering these other ores, I'll definitely uh, start recording again. That way you guys can see them, and I'll let you guys know where they were. Um, but until then, guys, give me a couple minutes, and I'll take care of this. All right, guys, so I was headed back up, and we're only one level above where we were. You can see my health is quite drastically fallen, uh, and I actually didn't have time to start the recording before I... Uh, handled what was causing that to happen. Uh, we ran into some cave spiders, which poison does. There was actually three of them. And uh, they kind of jumped us as we were trying to get that emerald that was right over there. So, usually cave spiders are a sign of something else in the area. Uh, there can be spawners. There can be uh, mine shafts usually have cave spiders in them. Uh, but I didn't see any of those things. They just kind of, you know, fell on my head. So, Let's see, we're almost out of food. Well, we got all the steaks, so I guess we're not even close to out of food. But yeah, it happened right about here. So I'm wondering if they came from right up there, actually. And that's something we're going to have to go investigate. It does look like there's, there's definitely an opening there. So, but let's get some of this other stuff first before we do that. This is actually what I came over here for was for this emerald. Oh. Hey there. You have a sword. Interesting. 
He didn't drop it, but he definitely had a sword. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff up there that we can go after. We got that emerald now. But I think before we do that, because our inventory is pretty full. And let's... Ooh, interesting. It's a lot more lapis than I thought there was going to be. Let's grab as much of this as we can carry. And then I think we're going to head back to base and dump off our inventory. And let's head that way. And we're going to have to explore down that tunnel as well. But for the time being, we're just going to head back. And let's see if we can't find our way back over here. We'll grab some of these ores as we go up. And what I'm going to do, guys, is grab some of these ores that we said we'd grab. And I'll meet you guys back at the house. Alright guys, we're just heading out of the mines now. We'll close the door behind us. Uh, it's nice to see the sunlight again. So let's head over here. We'll head back to our house. As you can see, we made a lot of progress. Because this is where our initial entry into those mines was. Right here. So we're all the way out there now, and we've only just scratched the surface of that ravine. Yeah, let's kind of go around here a little bit. But we're running low on torches, we've only got three left, and, you know, our inventory is completely full, so let's go drop all this stuff back off at the house. So here's the final take of what we got out of there. Uh, 38 pieces of lapis, a lot of coal. Uh, 44 pieces of iron, which is great. Uh, 14 gold, 49 redstone, and 2 emeralds. And we've just scratched the surface of that ravine and those caves. We actually lost our gold boots in there. So I think what we'll do is we'll take and make ourselves some iron boots and maybe even an iron helm. Uh, somehow our leather pants are still intact. Uh, so that's interesting, but yeah, because we got all this extra iron ore now. So I'm going to do all that, guys, and I'll see you back for the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, doing a little bit of caving and exploring. And I might go back and, you know, try to grab some stuff off camera in there. But definitely if I run into anything cool like diamonds or more cave spiders, I'll try to get that um, footage for you guys. So, thanks for watching.